Alright. Oh, right! Hello! Welcome in. It's us, the Hopes, and it's time for another day of Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney. <laughs> yes, it's time for Ace Attorney Episode 2, Turnabout Sisters, to begin. I'm really excited about this one. This is when the story really gets going. For sure. So, hope you're having a great day. Let's hop in. Okay, yeah, let's go in. We here we go. All right. Can it be a little louder on our end? Just a wee bit. Thank you. Ooh. Bring, bring, <laughs> beep. Uh, oh. you were gonna be Maya. hello. This is Maya. Uh, do you want me to be Mia for this scene? Hey, Maya. Oh, it's no. me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Wow, lonely. And it's all your fault. <laughs> nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. <laughs> you want me to hold evidence for you. Mia and Tamara. <laughs> exactly. Mia and Tamaya. Exactly. <laughs> Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working. That's lame. <laughs> I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way. Yes. Wait. That's Mia. But Mia's always labeled. It's a mistake. Okay. Can you buy, come by the office tonight, say 9 o'clock, to pick them up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner, something good. Like burgers! burgers! I could really go for a good burger. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll hit up the usual joint. All right! It's a deal! Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep. I'll be waiting, Maya. Hi, Leo. Conversation recorded. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Hey, Leo. How's it going? Are you having a good night? 8.57 p.m. Faye and Co. Offices. <clears throat> now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. Like the I'm... papers? What? I almost was sneezing. Oh. I felt it really I felt it really coming and then I Okay, we're good. Okay, I thought you were realizing something. I was like, no. what's going on? I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Why I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that <gasps> swallowed those papers. <gasps> How could you know? <laughs> you are not cogniferous of my background? <laughs> Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. <laughs> my dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your love. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. <gasps> <gasps> Farewell, Miss Fay. <gasps> no. No. Red. White. Blue. That's how Mia said it. No, 
I was just being true. I was just saying it dramatically. <laughs> Mia's you last S-A. words. She says it. No! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Okay. Um, so that happened at 8.57, and this is this 9.08. Is, this is like 10 minutes later. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm late. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Huh, that's strange. I guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over so we could all go out for get dinner. We should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. La, 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 la. Hmm. I smell blood and that can't be good. I have to check and see if Mia, th the chief's okay. Okay, fine. He's like... Uh, I can't, no. I can't examine the office. I have to go. That smell. Blood! <laughs> Oliver, for the love of God, a woman is dead! <laughs> Someone's there. Uh, Chief? Chief? Chief! Snake! <laughs> Oliver, <laughs> for the love of... <laughs> mm -mm. Who are you? What happened? What just happened, huh? Sorry. I don't know if you heard that. or Something happened with our cats. They dropped... They knocked something. Now? What happened? What the? What the? You can't do that. How did she do that? Gross. Ew. She took like the, the thing that catches food in the sink. <clears throat> Ew. <sighs> the strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. <laughs> Looks at your badge. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally, she was cold. Chief. This is one of those images. It's so sad. This is really sad. This is one of those images that, like, the way they translate it from pixel art, like, doesn't do it, it as much justice as yeah. did. Yeah, I'd love to go back and look at how this looked back in the uh, back in the day. Yeah. In the DS day, some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. Glass, a glass light stand. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again. Is it I ironic? Is that the word you would use? Yeah. Right. The chief's chair. A simple, functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. Well, good to think really about. Good to sit in. It's nice to sit in. I guess it's my chair now. Um, there's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. Slide to the left. Slide. Oh. Charlie! Right! I'd better call the police! Huh? That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police, 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 I don't, oh, oh, I know who it is. Police, please come quick. What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? Ah! She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. The phone receiver is missing a few screws. I'd better not use it. 
child. I can't believe the Pick plan's him up. not over. The Fane Co. Ledger book. Everything is written in the Chief's ultra-neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. That's or nice. it used to. Looking around at the speed of sound. All of the Chief's important documents are packed in here. Oh, shit. Uh, this is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. Surprisingly, the Chief was never good with machines. About all she used the, this PC for was, an, was email. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. I wish Mia had a Neo that could count. She doesn't know how to work computers. I wish she knew about computers enough to have a Neo. Pet. Why did he want her to have Neo pets? I just think that it'd be nice. Her specifically. Her and Maya, I think. Okay, they could like, be friends on yeah, Neo pets. Yeah, like sisters with Neo pets accounts. That's cool. That girl just now, where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh oh, I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya. Faye? Yeah. Couldn't cram more legal books in here if you wanted to. If you can gaze upon the shelves without feeling insignificant. Huh. A small writing desk cluttered with office supplies. Huh. The reception desk. I usually sit here. Oh, receptionist Phoenix Wright. Yeah. That should be the name of this thing. Oh. <laughs> well, it would have been if we had It would have been. <laughs> <laughs> the door to the chief's office. It's slightly open. I'd better not touch the doorknob. Um, your prints are probably on there, dude. Yeah. This sofa is for clients. It's leather. A real luxury model. I love him looking around the office he works in yeah. while Maya's like... <laughs> <laughs> A large painting. I guess you'd call this modern art. I, on the other hand, call it a mistake. Wow. Dang, vicious. He does wow. not like modern art. He does not like it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you know that I'm a lawyer? Don't worry, I'm a lawyer. I'm sorry, I've never seen that before. Um, I guess we'll talk. What happened? What, what happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. And sis? Sis? So she was already dead. So you're the chief's... Sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting. This late at night? Yeah. Yeah, we were gonna meet up yes. for dinner! Yes, we were gonna meet up for dinner! <laughs> She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It, it was that clock. It was the thinker. All right. That tinker. Well, now what? Is there something more to look, find in the office? Well, now maybe go grab the thinker. Oh. Oh. What's that? What's that? A perfectly normal office desk. Oh. Chief, Chief had a very particular policy about office decor. Spend big on the stuff that clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Uh. Oh, I never looked at the body. You were like... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Chief, Ew. it's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here... She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Oh, there you go. Okay. Made by Larry Butts. There are some shards of glass near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass nightstand lying broken in the back of the room. Broken remains of the glass nightstand. Beyond, broken beyond all recognition. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. <gasps> oh ho. Except for that note that just appeared. A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya, 
Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Wait a second. Maya. Was Mia trying to tell us something about that girl? I think I'd better show her this receipt. I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside of a courtroom. Hmm. The department store receipt with letters written in blood on the back. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police. And find out what that girl was doing here. Just so, what like, the heck was she doing here? Was it a situation where Mia and Phoenix were going to have a meeting, and then she was going to be like, oh, and also, my sister is here. Because that's what it seems like the circumstances were. Well, Phoenix knew that, that the sister was going to be there. He was like, Mia said that her sister was going to be around and that we should all have dinner together. I feel like that's what he said, wasn't it? Did I make that up? You're probably right. I'm just confused as to how he's not using his deductive reasoning to be like, oh, the girl here is the sister. I mean, he knows. Oh, you mean like, oh, yeah. He keeps being like, that girl. Yeah, well, I think they're under the presumption that maybe I checked the body first oh, before okay. actually talking to Maya. Oh, okay. I think I did things out of order. Oh, okay. Um, about the thinker. Mm. The, the, the thinker. That was... Oh, sis. <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't have asked her about the murder weapon. Anyway, you know anything about the glass that was lying next to the chief? I know. I saw it there, too. I thought they might be pieces of the light stand. Hmm, maybe. Never heard of a glass light stand before. Me neither! I don't know what that is! I don't even know what you're talking about, Phoenix. Uh, before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. That, 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 that's my name! Why? Why would you write my name? Please, just calm down. Why? Why would you just write my name? Uh oh. Uh, now I've done it. <gasps> the coppers! The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Do you want me to be Gumshoe? Yeah. All right, I'm Detective Gumshoe, see? <laughs> Gumshoe? What an odd name. <laughs> Trying to do fun little boys. We received a report from the building across the way, see? <laughs> Got a person saying they saw a moita. <laughs> it must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Oh, this might as well happen, Phoenix yeah. says. He's, like, more annoyed. This is an inconvenience yeah. to me. <laughs> so inconvenient that his boss was murdered and the police are here. That's so funny. Maya, wait. She wouldn't have. Nah. <laughs> Whoa. Excuse me. Eek. <laughs> this word Maya here mean anything to you? Uh, um, that, that's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. K killer, I'm not- Case closed! You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am! <laughs> what? Life's like this. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the, on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. So, did you leave the piece of paper there? Because he, I thought he picked it up. And then he, did he show it to Gumshoe? It's hard to say when it comes to, like, evidence things, like, where the evidence is. You know what yeah. I mean? When it's in the court record, it's like, it's not necessarily saying that you have it. Yeah. It's saying you have that information to use. 
Yeah. But it could mean that you physically have the item, but it, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, you know, you have to watch the anime. I guess. Watch the anime. Wow, they have... Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh. It's you. The lawyer. G good morning. Kitty. <laughs> Sorry, Kitty's being cute. I was like, God, oh, look. Mm -hmm. He he he. Um. Okay. Sorry, Maya. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um. Are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, what should we say? Not a chance. It's up to you. I'd better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes, I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. They're never gonna believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. It's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today my junior partner's first time today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha! <laughs> so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if, I'm ever, if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. Give him a couple more like, games. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Oh. And that's what she said about you. She said... <laughs> you suck. <laughs> she said you're a greenhorn. <laughs> oh, man. That's what she said. Phoenix. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> it's I Lou. Know. You're so little, baby. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but look, I'm an attorney. <laughs> Sorry, I've never seen this before. Oh my god, you're shaky. <laughs> I'm gonna ask her about that right now. Uh, remember this receipt? You mean the one with my name on it? <laughs> <laughs> Any idea why she. Absolutely none! Um. Do you trust me? I trust you. Why? <laughs> but why? Don't you think I did it too? No, I don't. It's just a hunch, but... That de oh. That detective thinks I did it. <laughs> There's something I've been... Goes from... To there's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with the outfit? <laughs> oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. A acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. Uh huh. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure I'm qualified. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm Oh, uh, that's pretty strange. That's pretty strange. Could you tell me 
What could you tell me about the day of the murder? You mean yesterday? What can you tell me about yesterday? Earlier? Yeah, a couple hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. I had some toes and eggs <laughs> in my hair to put on my little necklace. <laughs> She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could you have been... How could that be... How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, <laughs> right. She said something about that. I remember... Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Uh, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. I record all my conversations. It's like a normal day. Just for fun, for my podcast. <laughs> you recorded it? Yeah, for my podcast. Conversations with my sister on my phone. Yeah. I forgot how to delete those things. <laughs> she just has all her phone calls recorded. For her podcast. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Yeah, for my podcast. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered. They took my phone. They took my cell phone. Now I can't check on my dragon. <laughs> I can't check on my neopets. <laughs> and Mia's neopets are doomed. <gasps> I don't know her password. Saddest story ever told. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. A conversation I had with my sister is recorded on my cell phone. <laughs> right good that note. Down. It's a good note. Yeah. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Uh, Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. I'm, oh, oh, she wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for a trial. That's, That's the, the thing, thing her clock Harry made. Okay. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. Hey, clocks don't kill people. People kill people. <laughs> So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Th then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. So, you're an acolyte at um, a medium in training. That's right. The Fay family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second. You said the Fay family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait! What? Sorry. Cats are fighting. Oh! <laughs> They're okay. Sorry. We were just very engaged by that. So you're a real honest-to-goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact Mia's spirit then? We could just ask her who killed her. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Oh. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Um... Huh? Something in the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. 
She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. No. Uh, no, I'm a- hey, I'm a good toy. I'm gonna be your lawyer. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Hmm? Say, what about your parents? Uh, I, I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. I got it. <laughs> Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 o'clock this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Right, I'll be back. They're almost out. Man, the way that he's like, good thing I can fast travel. Yeah. Eh. It, they're not even giving us a time right now. They're just like, it's happening right now. Yeah. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Yeah, well, let's take a fucking look let's around Let's take a first. fucking look around. Oh. No clues here. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. <laughs> it looks expensive. Looks expensive. A table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case. And if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. With that lighter. <clears throat> Pardon me? It's not a stream without me burping? I <laughs> guess. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Phoenix knows a thing or two about art. Yeah. Expensive-looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive-looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. <laughs> that judgment is so funny. They don't look like they've been read. No, I don't look like anyone's moving those around. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Yeah, it does look shiny, huh? It, I, it, there are reflections. <laughs> um, well. Okay, well, that's, a, that's the office. I guess we'll go to our office now. Our stinky office. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Well, and this is my office, pal. I'm sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? If his accent is being weird, it's because I don't know how to do the accent I'm trying to do. And so in my mind, he does it. He's trying maybe, to do it. Maybe accent. if you think of Harvey. <laughs> L would P. Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How could anyone ex mistake me for Larry? <laughs> I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy. He was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right, and you were... Call him the wrong name. As a power move. As a power move. As a power uh, move. You were, um... Ooh, ooh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Detective Suede Shoes, right? Wasn't it? That's me. Don't step on my blue suede <laughs> shoes. Wait! That's a song, pal. <laughs> my name's Dick Gumshoe. Wait. That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal! Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick! Get over here! Yes, sir. <laughs> but be right there. Aww. Aww. Uh, <coughs> wait, wait, Kay. um. Aww. <laughs> You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you've got business here, you better do it quick. Who? He thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. 
home free. Now I can look at my potted plant. Mia's favorite potted plant. Well, it's nice that they put it back up. Mm -hmm. I remember it had this bizarre name no one could ever remember. Cordeline... Cordeline Stricta, pal! Who was that? <laughs> Who was that? Who said that? <laughs> That's me. That was me. Literally. It's a Cordeline Stricta! <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> that meme when someone, when you're like, <laughs> when you're like, I don't know, someone should fuck gumshoe. Oh my god, who said that? Who said that? that? The sky is blue, and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. The sky, the sky is, is blue, blue, and so, so am I. Yeah. Oh, Phoenix, Aww. it's hard. You did just lose someone. I'm so sorry. Yeah. An old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. I think that would be respectful of you. Yeah, nice movie night. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is that Mia probably reads all, probably read all these. <laughs> Mia's desk, perfectly clean as always, except for the murder that recently happened. The only thing it's missing is Mia. I'm a lawyer, don't you know? Mm -hmm. What was that? Sorry, pal, but I got no info for the likes of you. Okay, fine. I was wondering, do you know anything about this? That statue? That's the mortal weapon. The mortal weapon! weapon. <laughs> huh? He thinks the clock is just a statue, too. I'm starting to wish I'd never seen this thing. There was broken glass at the crime scene, right? Hmm? Oh, that? Seems like a glass stand next to the victim fell over. The glass shards were pieces of the broken stand. There was a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. So there's no proof that Mia wrote it? No. <laughs> no. No. There's not. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Swings it on his finger. I have I that. Cute little phone. Ring, ring. Detective Gumshoe here. <laughs> Do you think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's on to me! <laughs> Tell him straight. Oh, really? It's got evidence on it. Yeah, well, I suppose. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it why? to me! Why? Something the matter? Oh, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it. Like her boyfriends. <laughs> A cell phone holds all a little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Uh, you're trying to confuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in the memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there after all. Just a call with the... You know, the murdered person. The victim? The victim. The call with the victim. Bad. Bad at job. Bad at job. Spray You're bottle. bad at your job. <laughs> You're bad at your job. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Okay, well, um... Yeah, and we've we've read this. We've read this. We know what it says. Yeah. Uh... About Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? Right here I did. Right here. Look at the body! It's open <laughs> chest. No! Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Now don't look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. 
you can see the report. But that's all. Thank you. All right, all right. Time He's of a death, big old softy. Nine five at nine p.m. Whoa, nine o'clock sharp. Nine <laughs> o'clock sharp. Cause single blunt hit. Today. A single blunt. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Cause of death. A, a single, single blunt. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. <laughs> Must have been a, was a really big, juicy blunt. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal. This is one trial you aren't gonna win. Why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. <gasps> Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. Y'all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. <laughs> no influence in the witness with your loyally ways, pal. Hmm. Hmm. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. Those big badonka honkers. I just thought there were some sentient badonkers <laughs> calling the police. <laughs> some tits calling the cops right now. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you've sent her home already then. <laughs> You're trying your lawyerly tricks on me now! She's not to go outside her room until the trial at the Gatewater Hotel. So she's still at the In hotel room across 152, the way. combination that. <laughs> I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You're real good. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. But first, Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. You do know him, don't you? Of course I of do. Of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Fan cam, like... Oh! <laughs> And he's like, didn't even know <laughs> He's yeah. walking out of his car and driving around yeah. and pushing his glasses up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't talk about him that way. Please, you make <laughs> him sound barely human. That's what the newspapers say. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Incredibly young and sexy. Young. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. Man. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. All right. It's kind of weird how much he hates crime. He is kind of bizarre. It's kind of wild how much he hates crime. Um... Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Don't draw attention. Thanks for this. Don't mention it, pal. When it comes to dealing with lawyers, fight fair and square is our motto. I don't know how I feel seeing everything written up like this. It makes Mia's death seem so routine. Poutine. Let's get out of here. Yeah, okay. Don't worry, Gumshoe. I'm sure you'll figure out your voice at some point. <laughs> Tanks! <laughs> Thanks there, buddy. <laughs> well, hello there, handsome. Sorry, you're gonna be talking to yourself for a second, but I do really want you to be her. No, I I want to be her too. Good. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. Um, 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 <laughs> um, 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 um. You're that. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said. Don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. 
Memo to self, thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful witness. I witness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine that one. Hope it's not me. Hope it's not me. Ah, uh, a still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. You're the one who thought it. <laughs> the flowers are fake, as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. Me too. He's an Amori <gasps> stan! <laughs> He's an Amori stan! <laughs> He's a sunflower stan! Real! Real! Real. Oh, we don't have vine boo. It's okay. One day. That's so funny. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Faye & Co. lofts as building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. Weird. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from the, this distance, though. <laughs> Gumshoe, stand by the window. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> try to wave at me. A simple you try bed. To wave at it's been recently made. Nothing eye catching here. A bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. Or... There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Hey! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no touching! Bad boy! <laughs> you really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. I know, I love her. You know, yeah. She's so cutie. Wait, this is like an uncomfortable position to be in. Yeah, uh, she's got... She's, she'll have arthritis at some point. Like, like, that hurts my wrist. Yeah. Hmm. Excuse me, but I'm a witness. Police witness, you understand? How could I possibly give you any information in good conscience, hmm? Me, the witness? It's just like in the movies. Okay. Uh. Hmm. So you can't talk. <laughs> You're a witness. You said something about you're a witness? Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Ooh, observed. Incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. <clears throat> um. Um. Gulp. Better not encourage her. Uh, you know that thing that, uh, um, happened the other day? The bad thing? Yesterday, hours ago. It was yesterday. Um, what did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Mm, let me see. Mm, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. Um, could you... Just who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? When you ask someone No, right hey, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> you know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, <laughs> Phoenix making eye contact with her. Eye contact, making eye contact, eye contact. Eye contact, eye contact. <laughs> making eye contact with her. Right, uh, can you just tell me what it is you do? Wow. No! <laughs> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. Alright. Uh, I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Ooh! What amazing powers of observation! You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television! Oh, no, not me. I... Just a lawyer. 
say, Mr. Big Detective? Why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? Hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Well, we're not getting anywhere. All right. Well, bye. Maybe... Hmm. Seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <laughs> him. If that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Oh! Hi! Hello, Jerba! Hi! Hello. Thanks for resubbing 33 months. Wow, 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 wow. Thanks for coming in. Hi. Welcome to Ace Attorney. Oh, and congrats on first. Wow. Oh, glasses wow. check, Oliver. Where are your glasses? In the living room. Go get them. Okay. <clears throat> oh, well, Jenna, I'll tell you what you missed, Jerba. The boss died. The boss got murdered. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Her sister is the accused. And no, no, our our boss, the girl, the girl boss. No, she's great. She's the chief. She's good. She's hot. <laughs> but she's dead now. He had it covered. Not the girl <laughs> boss. Yes, girl boss. Um and her sister is accused of the murder, so we are trying to get her some defense. Not us yet, but we're working on it. We're salt. We're we're trying to figure out what's going on. You were so misogynistic to assume boss meant man. I know. You really got to check it. Yeah. Check it. You know. Oh, so here we go. Oh, uh -huh. so you're the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I have imagined. Hmm. That badge on your collar. Ah, oh, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Uh, yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, 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 well. <laughs> well, here I am, boy. What did you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, the boy, so I guess Maya you, Faye. I'm just a most little guy, actually. I'm just like a little guy. <laughs> um, go on. <laughs> Huh? Why the strange reaction? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What is that supposed to be? Achacha? I'm really quite busy. I'm going to use you easily. Achacha. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, <coughs> anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely possible impossible for me to represent <laughs> <Freudian her. slip. laughs> Sorry. End of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. Bye. What do I tell Maya? Cuff him, boys! We've already looked at this whole place. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. <clears throat> well, you just, you just... I'm busy! You see. But the cl... But the client <laughs> is Mia Faye's sister. <clears throat> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes. Yes. Of course. I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. Goodbye. Creep. Fine. To his face. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. I think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What, what do you mean? Um, 
terribly, terribly sorry, but I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I... I shan't say. <laughs> I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Now, I have nothing more to discuss with you. But I had other things I wanted to talk about with you. What's going on here? How did you know Mia Fey? Or, how did you know Mia Fey? She worked here a long time ago. Wow, that was an empty threat, him being like, leave now. Yeah. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Aha! Uh -huh, you noticed! It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. He hates this guy. He hates him. He hates this guy. I called him a creep to his face. Yeah, I called him a creep. I like how you were like, he was like, leave now. And I guess now I'll leave. And then he- Hey, Maya, you won't believe it. He said- He's a creep. No, he said he won't. Um, 342, right before visiting hours. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, see, just be honest. Blink, 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 blink. I, mm -hmm. I really don't think you should use that guy. He, he didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Mm. Uh, I see. I've been abandoned then. Oh, oh not this, no, not no, that. No, 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 no. What about your family? No. I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive? The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. I love that it's a lot of, a lot. Yeah, cause she's a, she's a, she's a silly girl. Yeah. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced that she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. <clears throat> so, you live by yourself? Yes. I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her. All by herself, all up on that mountain? <clears throat> so, who was this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow. So what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. <gasps> the police's con consultation with the medium had been all had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, 
and became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Some white boy. <laughs> Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White. Huh. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Yep, I guess so. Bye, Maya. Defend Maya! I've made up my mind! <clears throat> I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Huh. Why? Why? Well, I can't abandon you. No one is as sad. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there a long time ago. Oh. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Yeah. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. <laughs> uh, well. One cry later. Let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right. Thank you. <sighs> she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? I need to get into that girl's drawers. It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Gotta look at her drawers. Um, all right. I can't well, stop Maya, thinking about that you, happy. random person <laughs> who said, uh, <laughs> who said what kind of plant it was when you were in the office. Yeah. Cordyline Stricta! Who was that? <laughs> hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? Aww. Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, Aww. tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Ah, she's sad again. Oops, sorry. Well, looks like Detective Gumshoe's gone home. The police are still keeping <clears throat> themselves busy in the chief's office. No one has time to talk to me. No one want talk me. <laughs> Nobody had time to talk to me. <laughs> Guess I'll head out. Good afternoon, sir. I excuse me, you are... Uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment. At your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, uh, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Bum -bum. Oh, the bellboy thought he was here to have a little bit of fun. He, he was like, oh, pardon me. He's like, no, 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 wait, 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 I'm not here to do that. He fully was like. You enjoy. Yeah. Have fun. Uh, I almost forgot. Ah! Hey, you came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, what, 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 Mr. White? Mr. White? Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? Hm, probably nothing. Probably nothing. <laughs> White. That was his name. My sister told me. <gasps> Why was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother? <laughs> and if we find him, we find the murderer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> Could it be a, a coincidence? coincidence? Nothing's a coincidence. No fi fate but what you make. 
All right, there's a screwdriver sticking out of that half open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. <gasps> what do we have here? A wiretap? Phoenix, <laughs> the way that Phoenix can recognize what a wiretap looks yeah, like that, is amazing. If I saw that, I would just be like, huh, some random garbage. <laughs> like, I can't emphasize enough how, like, the fact that this game takes place in the future, but it's a future where nothing has changed. Yeah. about technology is so funny to me. I like it. I like that we just like it's like <clears throat> a it's a world where technology was just slower, you know? A little yeah. bit of slower technology. I'm into that. Yeah. I would have been As fine with that. As nature intended. I would have been fine with that. <laughs> <clears throat> uh what would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? <laughs> well, I'll just take that. This is so against the law, this thing that Phoenix is doing, law by the way. Law is different in Ace Attorney That's world. That's true. There is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There is a story behind all this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. <laughs> You you have to process evidence into a court, but okay. Not an ace attorney. Not an ace attorney. World. You can just bring whatever you, you want. You can do whatever you want. For Maya's sake, I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, <coughs> you know what I mean? Oh, bellboy, still there? Uh oh, time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, <laughs> Miss May, in court. <laughs> To be continued. Let's go bottom. Go to the very, very bottom. Yes. Wahoo. Well. I think we should continue. Oh yeah. Do you do you think you, no? Do you want to try to do the whole first trial day? Let's see if we can. All right, I want to take five minutes. Let's take a five. All right. We'll see you in five. We'll see you at 7.15 or whatever the 15 is for your, you guys. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah. See you then. Here, I'll turn on some, some musics for you. Hello? Hello. We are back. We told you we would be... Hi. All right. We're going to do this trial. We're gonna meet Edgeworth. Are you ready? <sighs> Trust fall into my arms, into my heart. I need you in my arms again. Just press back. I don't understand what I'm doing. Yeah, just press back. Oh, edging for Edgeworth. Edge. Edge, edge. <laughs> That's only a joke we understand. <laughs> okay. Um. September 7th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number one. Do we ever use not courtroom number one? Yeah, I think that courtroom number two has been used before. Does it look different? I distinctly remember that at some point, like way later, they actually talk about like this courtroom had this thing and this other courtroom, like there's a, something happens, but that's later. Okay. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. <coughs> wow! Okay, one second. Ow! That's we talked like one of the jury people. They're like, oh my god, I died! Yeah. <laughs> we talked about this right before coming back. Mm, right. So I have to. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous for him. shaped toes. Okay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. He's nervous, too. I'd better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. <laughs> Phoenix literally <laughs> phrasing. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts on this case, Your Honor. I see. 
Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir! My name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. <clears throat> the body was found by this window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of a thinker. Found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. Even a girl could have killed even someone with that. Even a little girl could have done it. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. It's a fucking clock, if they knew anything. If you care, yeah. it's a clock. Phoenix is so pedantic, you know? Like, he's like, he every even though they're all calling it a statue because that's just the easiest thing to call it, he's like, um, it's a clock, actually. Yeah. <laughs> now, detective. <laughs> he's so, like, um, Animal Crossing intense, you know, Edgeworth? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm? Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Yeah, no problem. Here I go. Ugh. I'm all ready. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. In fact, feels a little bit like it's a conflict of interest. Anyway, I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. I've decided to just go for JT from Gilmore Girls. I love that. Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. <laughs> Do your Whoosh. fucking job! Whoosh. Oh, it's, <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's a paper. <laughs> hey, uh. Maya just threw something at me. <laughs> I love... She crumples up a paper and tosses it at him like a 13-year-old. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> What's this? You can uh, read it. Oh, it's I guess, written yeah. Down. Oh, yeah, I guess. I just was like, that's Maya. Uh, when my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Huh. I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. All right, let's give this a try. I know that's for people who haven't played this before who are like, just like, just do it anyway. Yeah, just, just do it anyway. Just press. No, Your Honor, I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Sorry, I skipped that stuff. He was just like, you He's good? just the judge, whatever. The judge was just like, <laughs> Phoenix, you good? And I was like, yeah, yeah, bro, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, as soon as the phone call, I'm going to rush to the scene. Wait a second, did you? Hold it, did you? Who did you say you got a call from? Hey, pal, I don't play dumb. You know who. Don't play dumb. You know who. The call was from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right across from the crime scene. Hmm, okay. I pressed. I'm not sure it did much, though. Right. Please continue. The gay water. <laughs> the gay water hotel. Nice. There were two people there already. Hold it. Detective Gumshoe, how long would you say it took between you receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? Hmm? About 15 minutes? Hmm. Oh, wait. You show me your badge. Mm, right. I'd say it was about three minutes. Th that's pretty fast. Our motto this month is quick response. 
That's how I got there before the killer got away. Indeed. So, tell us who the two people you found on the scene were. Yes, sir! Hold it. I don't know if I was there. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure it was us? Maybe it was people in a disguise. You don't know. How do you know? How do I know that you're really here? How do any of us know anything? What's the point of a law system? <laughs> What's the point of court? Fuse going what on I? What are you? Hey, pal. <laughs> Listen. Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. <laughs> With her funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair, you two stand out like, like suspicious people at a crime scene. Well, he does have a point about her. She is pretty unmistakable. I should pick my points to press with a little more care. Um, you, did you arrest her? <laughs> I immediately am uh, not gonna hold. Why is that? What's your reason? Hold on just one second. I yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Huh? Did... Did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about this suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? Uh, what? Miss May is it suspicious? And she sure isn't pink, pal. She's a little pink. Well, I guess she is pink. Yeah. She's a... That's enough detective comes to. Do you have any more solid proof that the than her claims, detective? Um... Hmm. hmm, I guess pressing can have its advantages. I guess once you press everything that they say, there is something to be said. I guess when you nitpick people about every single thing, thought that comes out of their head... Hmm. <laughs> yes. Gah. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony. Your Honor, sir. There was something that I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Hard evidence. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Elaborate test results showed it was the blood, that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Bingo Bango, huh? Oh, bingo. Tale as old as time. Tune as old as song. <laughs> How you like that? That's my hard evidence. Except, guess what, dumbass? Guess what, dumbass? Guess what? Before, she died instantly. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. It better be, what about how she died instantly? Are you going to immediately present that? I mean, I think. I mean, okay. I don't know. Maybe I'll press for fun, but... Your, your honor. <laughs> Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, uh, I know. I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Uh, Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. I'm real embarrassed. I'm sorry. He's just a little guy. I'm just a little guy. He's just a little detective. I, my brain is sometimes I forget. I forget, you I, know? I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I just forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, um, my bad. It's my bad. Okay. And did you find any evidence? This is why we should defund the Now, party. now. Don't jump the gun on me, pal. Just listen. I'm, I'm getting to the good part. I got a bad feeling about this. I think they feel that's like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, memo. 
Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it. Ho ho! Then who did write it, smarty pants? Uh, who? Um... I... <laughs> Phoenix Man! The killer? Don't say I did. Not in front of Edgeworth. Oh my god, that'd be so embarrassing. I did it. <laughs> you say it in front of the... Like a child, just like... I, I did, did it. <laughs> The, the idea is so funny to me. It's I don't want to so do it, but it's funny. so funny. It's so temptingly funny. No, I'll say the killer. It just makes me like I like I feel so embarrassed yeah. by the concept that he cannot. The, the killer. Anyone can see that. Ugh. Ho. Ho. You're saying the killer wrote her own name, body. Please. She was framed. <clears throat> Hold on. If that's the case, where's your evidence? Uh, uh... Ha! I guess that was a bit of a tall order for you. Those without evidence shouldn't open their mouths, Mr. Wright. Okay! Yeah, pal! <laughs> ah! Well, detective... Tell us what was written on the memo you found. Okay, all right. Uh, Maya clearly in blood. Bum. Do you have proof it was Mia who wrote that? Or do we, wait, 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 wait. Of course I do, pal. Oh, oh. That he sounded pretty confident. This might not be good. Uh, it, but the blood was, the, well, of course it was the victims. Like, who else would it be? What kind of tests were these again? Were, what kind of tests were these again? Huh? What kind? Um, well, I hear they take the, um, little bits in the blood. The, uh, hemo... Hemo... The hermogoblins. The hobgob... The herb... Hermogoblin bobbins. I refuse to testify on this matter, pal! <laughs> the... Goblins. The goblins. The homo goblins. The homo goblins. The homosexual goblins. I'm no expert on blood tests and goblins. Yes, that was quite clear. You may continue with your testimony. Thanks, pal. I mean your honor, sir. Detective Gumshoe. It, yeah? I look forward to your next evaluation. As should you. Oh! That was a mess. Right, where was I? <laughs> There was blood found on the victim's finger. On which hand was the bloody finger, detective? The right hand. Huh. But she was right-handed, so... She was right-handed. That was not gonna be the zag I thought it might be. Ha ha ha! Nice <laughs> try! <laughs> Gumshoe's having the time of his life. He's like, you didn't get me. Uh-oh. I guess it wasn't too hard to see what I was getting at there. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. It is fun to press. It is fun to press. It's just fun to press. Unless they, like, are taking points. it's a funny game. It's a funny game. Detective Gumshoe, do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? Sure, it happens all the time in books and the movies. This isn't a movie, Detective. Or a video game. Yeah. Oof. Big oof. <laughs> oof! Let's talk about reality, shall we? He's so, so mad. <laughs> He's like a millennial. Let's talk about reality, <laughs> shall we? Um, I think we should stick our assumptions in the world of reality. But that's just me. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Uh, I guess I haven't heard many cases. No. Actually? <laughs> I mean, Phoenix is a millennial. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it shows. <laughs> and, and it shows. Uh, don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name? Especially the name of her own sister? 
Uh, yeah, actually, you got a point, pal. Yeah, actually, <clears throat> you got a point, pal. Stop right there. You are making him think. <laughs> the witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of her killer. Order, order. That didn't go so well. That's right, what he said. That's his whole testimony. Okay, there has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's find it. No problem. Mm, let's I find the contradiction. Did. Yeah, that doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. That's the problem. We're gonna present autopsy. the autopsy that says there, that the fucking death was instantaneous. The death you was noob. instantaneous. You noob, you noob. complete simpleton. Detective Gumshoe, you idiot! There's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim Mia Fey wrote this note that he was accusing the fen that she was accusing the defendant Mia Fey. That's really oh, what you're yes. saying? Please. I want you to repeat it to me right now. Tell me again. What? What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks, now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? I love when he does. You have it backwards, detective. But backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. <gasps> this is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. <gasps> but, but, no butting your way out of this one, detective. <laughs> order, order. The defense has a point. <laughs> Wait a second. Hey! <laughs> Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. No, they wouldn't have had the time, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain <laughs> that autopsy report? I'm so angry. Uh, when? Uh, the day after the murder. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being... <laughs> that autopsy report is outdated, your honor. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. <laughs> I said, have... look again. I said, you did it wrong the first time. Open up that body again. I actually got the newest one. I, I, got the got newest to, I have the yeah. newest one. And it's different and it's better and it's cooler. This is, so... And it, 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 it's more like what I think. It, so it's I, right. I agree with this one. So it's right. Death was almost, almost immediately due to a blow from a blunt object. You see that word? Almost. <laughs> this is such a stretch. But there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I really believe that he squeezed this out of the autopsy people. He was like, Don't, would there be any amount of Do time? Do you think there is a chance that they, that she was alive for, I would, maybe a few minutes? They were like, no, it's def definitely like, like definitely instant. And you're like, yeah, but like how instant? Like, like, like how instant? Like, a, like lights out or would there be a couple seconds? Like, well, maybe she had a couple seconds. Like a cup, okay, like a few seconds? Like enough like, seconds like, to warrant a like, minute or maybe a like, few like minutes? A, like a, like 30 seconds? Like would she have like 30 seconds? And like, I don't know, like, like maybe five seconds? Okay, so like 10 seconds? Yeah, maybe like 10 seconds. Perfect, that's enough time. Well, like, he's, he wanted several minutes. He oh. was like, Oh, there's a po oh. If there was was there a possibility that maybe several minutes? And this is funny because we we had seen that like ten minutes after her death, Phoenix and Maya were already there. Yeah. Hmm. But Phoenix got to her body, but when it was warm. Yeah. I received <clears throat> these results this morning. No way! You freak! Your Honor. <laughs> 
It's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. Not the bell. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth! <laughs> I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. <laughs> Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? You're a sham, Edgeworth. The detective's <laughs> a sham, and I'm a sham. <laughs> I'm a sham. I'm a sham. Did you want to say you're a sham? Did you want to say you're a little bitch boy? <laughs> Did you want to say you're a little baby? Yes, you tell him you're a little bitch. You're like, I'm a sham. <laughs> I'm a little bitch. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, you're mm -hmm. a little bitch. Yeah. Get under my boot. <laughs> you're like, and you're stinky. <laughs> say you're stinky. <laughs> and I'm stinky. And I'm stinky. And I'm stinky. I'm stinky. Does that hurt your points? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happens. I feel like I always go for you're a sham, Edward. I want to see. You want to see I'm a sham? I want to see. It. Click it. <laughs> <laughs> Click it. Click it. Detective Gumshoe, was I a fool to trust you and your report? Huh? M me? I, I was it? Huh? Detective Gumshoe. Uh. I'm disappointed in you, handing him the wrong report like that. I, I, I'm sorry, sir. You are at fault, detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. Wait, did I say gumshoe? No, you said you are. Sh you I'm a sham? I thought you said. I thought I did. What? But I... I I guess I did go, I was, said, was I to wrong? Trust was you. I wrong to do that, Gumshoe? I was wrong to trust you, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Uh, understood, Bars. The court accepts the evidence. <laughs> bars. <laughs> I love the idea of the judge. Bars. Oh, bars. <laughs> <laughs> Di I, bars, I'll take that. It's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Darn! This isn't good! Yeah, the silent bow. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Poor, innocent girl. There's a woman who saw with her own eyes. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent? Oh, hey! Hey! Beat it. Whoa, hey! Hey! Eye contact. <clears throat> <clears throat> Witness, your name, please. April May, at your service. <laughs> Order! An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. Ah, uh, yes, your honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Everyone in this courtroom. Yeah, everyone. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, but I was, like, in my hotel room. <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Co. law offices? Mm, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what that's you saw. Right, big boy. <laughs> that's right. <coughs> <coughs> it was like 9 o'clock at night. <coughs> Excuse me, pardon me. April May does that. Yeah, <clears throat> pardon me. It was like 9 o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know, and then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. Then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end. That's all I 
song. Every little bitsy witsy. Hmm. Well, Your Honor, I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness with any. Uh, wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. Uh, what about my cross examination? What about your cross examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite <clears throat> firm. Gross. Didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Maya Mia Fey's understudy. Were you not? I must you must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Uh, hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Yes, of course. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. Fine. If only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. Coward. She has to have she has to have some weakness. Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. Why did you do that? Huh? Why? Like, why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, I don't know, Phoenix. Why does anybody do I anything? I mean, it's like That's a so city street question. window. Yeah, I guess. That, like, faces them directly into a building. Oh, well, um, gee. What? That's it? She can't get out of this question that easily. I sort of, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know, I didn't like looking at windows. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a like cooking hot window. I had a feeling. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press a little harder on this one? I mean, go for it. Go for it, baby. Let's see how far I can run with this. Yeah, go for it, baby. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at that time of night. I did. Don't I... call me Shirley. I... Ooh! Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. B badgering You but insist on needling her with these trivial questions. I really don't think that should be allowed. I don't think it should be allowed. I really don't think that should be allowed. <laughs> I think it's really, really wrong. I don't think you should be allowed to do this. <laughs> Yeah, 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 stop, stop him. him! It should be allowed! The poor girl! It should be allowed! Order! <laughs> Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Poor girl? What about poor me? You looked out the window. What did you see next? Everyone's like, she's just trying to look out a window! She just wants to look out the window, leave her alone! Why can't anyone be wistful anymore? <laughs> can't a girl do anything? Yeah. God forbid a woman do they anything. They record Phoenix right and post him on TikTok, and they're like, oh, it would have been Vine, maybe. I think it would have been Vine. I wish, oh, I need to get Vine Boom on here. Stat. Stat. And then, ooh, <laughs> ooh, who's so a woman doing this hat? The woman with long hair. That was Mia Fey? Uh mm hmm. Slender, sort of. Well, some might say pretty, if that's your thing. <laughs> your thing? You mean beautiful women? <laughs> and the person attacking her? <laughs> Edward's like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what she looked like. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defense chair! <laughs> How do you know she was the defender? What do you mean, mousy look? <laughs> huh? Well, you know, she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. <laughs> look, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short, girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. Bulletproof. Uh, I question the testimony. Hold on a minute, that testimony stinks! What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that you're, you're lying. lying. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? Erp. Her little booty out. Oh. Meow. 
Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> I was thinking about the judge doing that, like kind of copying her. Be like, yeah. <laughs> Wait a second, what's the meaning of that? <laughs> I can't help it. When I see her do it, I'm like, me too. <laughs> I'm a kitty too. <laughs> What are we doing? Because she's like not being a kitty. She's just going, she's just ooh, doing this. Ooh. And ooh. And she's, ooh. She's just feminine. She's just this is what girls do. Wiles. Girl behavior. Ooh, feminine feminine behavior. <laughs> well, you're just sort of twirly and whirly. Yeah. Anyway. What's the meaning of this? <gasps> yes. What is the meaning? <laughs> she turns into Miss Piggy. What's the meaning? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me, because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. That's real. Uh, look at how weird she is. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. What a freak, right? And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. Okay. I just picture Maya sitting there like, What the? Okay. What the? <laughs> okay. We didn't need to get personal. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Okay. Got All right. Okay. And, mm. and her skin. <laughs> in her voice. voice. <laughs> there are so many ugly things you would have noticed before she noticed okay. she was a girl. Okay. 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 Um, however, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus because it didn't mention her fashion. <laughs> <laughs> but, but. Still. We don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. I do, da, because da, da. I was there. Because I did the murder. No, I was there. I saw her. She was wearing those clothes. She has never changed her clothes. And she was arrested immediately. They might say that. I just love, I would like to think that, because it, it's not, like, April May can see Maya right there. The, the testimony is fake. I just feel like this particular contradiction is weird. Yeah. And a, a huge stretch. She's just stupid. Yeah, I feel like she's like, I I just wasn't think a sleigh's a sleigh. Yeah. She was like, I don't know. I thought cool purple outfit. She just looks good. I look like this. Like. She was like. <laughs> she was like, yeah. Look at that. Gr look at the way that cinches her waist a little bit. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I did notice I'm her walking, girlish figure. I'm, I'm walking around. I'm walking around with big pink heart buttons and pink hair at my office and job. There's clearly, you know, no end to ways you can dress who, in this. Who am I to judge fashion, yeah, <laughs> she says. For real, for real. She thinks. Phoenix is just so close-minded. Anyway. God forbid a woman do anything. She was your honor. I saw her, and so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Wow! What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I saw what I saw. I, I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Your testimony again, if you would. A wink. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, her <laughs> Damn, I almost had her. He said damn. He said the D word. I did see everything I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That, that clock. Um, that kind of statuey clock. The thinker, I think. Well... Does the accuracy of my report not startle you? <laughs> I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please continue the cross-examination. Alright. I did see everything. <gasps> 
So you saw me then too? Of course! I'd remember that spiky hair anywhere! Spiky? It's spiky. It's spiky, dude. It's spiky. The witness will refrain from personal attacks on the defense attorney. Hey, okay, thank you. Aw, was I a bad girl? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Very well. Continue. The woman dodged and ran up to the right. Is that right as in your right? As you looked from the hotel? Um, which hand do I hold my knife in again? Right, it was my right hand, right? Satisfied, Mr. Wright? Please continue. <laughs> Andrew's just like, wow, this is riveting. We're talking about <laughs> which way. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. How convenient for you to remember her hippie clothes. Well, I didn't realize it would be so important. Well, that's what you, I mean, that's what she was wearing. Oh, and her hair was all done up like a bun. Because she's like, I remember now that I can see exactly what she looks like right here. Yeah. What happened then? And she hit her with that weapon I saw. Her. I did. I did. Where did this weapon come from? She picked it up from the desk. I see. What sort of weapon was it? It was that clock. It was the thing. It's just that you wake up. It was the thing, I think. Oh. A clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm on to something now. Ahem. <clears throat> the Tinko, I think. The tinker? I mean, I guess. I we'll think show so. It. Miss May, what you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Ooh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, naughty Mr. Lawyer? Ignores. <laughs> you just said that this statue, statue of the thinker, was a clock, but there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Uh. Another person in the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder! Oh, boy. Order! Order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Ooh! Uh. <laughs> the witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. Uh, yes, he. The questions are all I have, Your Honor! <laughs> it's all I have! It's all I have. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. <gasps> Murderer, but you know. Well, only one was. I didn't need a gasp of it. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Ooh, that was close. He had a glimmer of clarity with that. Yeah. He was like, you did. If you he did. stopped me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? I'm scared. What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? Th that's uh, because uh, I heard it. Yes, I, I, I heard it say the time. So you've been to the law offices of Fay & Co? Uh, no! Hey, I didn't say that! Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room! <laughs> the law offices of Fay & Co, where the murder took place, is very close to the hotel. She could easily have heard the clock. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because it, it couldn't have rung. It couldn't have rung. It couldn't have rung. Your honor, members of the your honor, members of the court. It is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. Empty. Because it is empty. That clock is missing its clockwork. Oh, so it is a statue then. 
So it is a statue, huh, Phoenix? <laughs> I guess it's not really a, a clock then, huh? Yeah. yeah. How, how could you possibly... Just take a look. Right now! Hmm. Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? Or rather, see nothing interesting, <laughs> Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Oh my gosh, it's empty. This shit empty. Yeet. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see, the clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big, fat liar. Her fat! The worst one, of course. Oh my god. Well, Miss May? Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Well, hi, baby. Hi, kitty. Kitten! Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. Kitten spotted. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. <laughs> Clockwork orange. <laughs> well, Mr. Ray? <clears throat> Can you prove when the clockwork was removed? No. No. Oh, impossible, of course. I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed is... The conversation? Yeah. Take, that. Take a look at this. Hmm? That's a very cute cell phone. Ooh, you have a girly phone! That is, she's just accusatory and mean. Yeah. <laughs> and offensive. Yeah. 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 Well, wait, this isn't my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim of the uh, victim on the day of the murder. Hey, baby. Hey. Order, order. Order, order. Who do you want to voice through? Oh. The defendant's <laughs> cell phone. This, this wasn't brought to my attention. I love. His beady little eyes. Nice. I will. She's like, what? How know you will play Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. <laughs> the detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation. <clears throat> Do you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could. Ah, uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. Well, there you have it. Loud. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Mwah. Mwah. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? Uh, well, well, isn't it, it, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what story was that again? I, I go to so many. <clears throat> Oops, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so the witness has seen it before. That would make sense. 
Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yes. Yeah, I do. The witness claims she had seen it before, but this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Please, produce this evidence that will prove the witness has not seen the clock before. I'll tell you, right now, it's the statue. It was made by Larry. It's not in a store. It's one of a kind. Two of a kind. It's two of a kind. Matching it's his simple. and hers thinker's clocks. Yeah. This clock was never in any store. Ever. Uh, what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible! And Everything... this one's about to join it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Impossible! Everything is sold in stores! No, no, no! Now, why would a store sell a thinker clock that only tells you the time out loud when you touch the back of its neck? I don't know. It was kind of a fun product. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. <laughs> Yes! I'm glad you did that. I thought you were going to do boo. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I want to boo him. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Excuse is not on sale today. Yeah, okay. That one was a touch too far. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa. What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die! <gasps> I'm trigger happy. Whoa, whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. <laughs> just scary <laughs> Miss May, let me ask tell me how did you know the weapon was a clock wow <laughs> hyper realistic for real whoa it's like she's coming out <laughs> that's so scary yeah she's gonna leave the game dude oh, no just April May just April May hmm oh dear does the defense have an opinion on this behavior Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... You had heard about it? You had heard about it. Because she Wire was tap. tapping. She was tippy-tapping. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Wiretap, wiretap. Have a look at this. Uh, ooh, that. <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Dangles it around, <laughs> flings it around. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Yeah, why did you bring trash in here? Miss April May, you were tapping the victim. Miss Mia May's phone, were you, were you not? <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness is in possession of a wiretap? A <laughs> question <laughs> <laughs> this is outrageous! Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely! Even if that was the case, which it's not, <laughs> you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not! Oh yeah? I think I can! It's simple! What?! What? What? <laughs> Here's my proof. 
The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... Okay. The phone record, right? The phone... Was it not... Yeah, right? Like, it says on the phone that it was a clock. She was listening to that. I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again? What is it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Boom. Click. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. <laughs> Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? April. Miss May? Shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer. It's no fair, all you g ganging up on me like that, huh? So I'm the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? Huh? Ah! Ah! That did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? <clears throat> Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't it this a murder trial? Isn't tippy tapping uh, irrelevant? Gah. She's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim, tapping the victim. You were tapping the victim phone. The victim phone. I heart, I hardly call that irrelevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice... I'd hardly call that irrelevant, I guess. I must have had been a really, really smarmy snake, snacky. He has a point. Yeah. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with the murder, even though you tapped her phone? Ha! I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And of course, I can and will. You can't be serious, no way. Way, I say, way! And I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> okay, so the killing happens around nine o'clock at night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. <coughs> room service? Ice coffee, I believe it was. Ice coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. I ice coffee? Ice coffee? Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. <laughs> Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. <laughs> so where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. I feel like that's not true. Yeah. Like, at all. <laughs> like... Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Faye, commit murder. No, they're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. 
Call the bellboy as a witness. Call the bellboy as a witness. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. And you think you've... I think you've sucked quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. Wh why? <laughs> What's your reason? Because I don't want you to. Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. Well, and I think you're full of shit. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Okay. Come here. <laughs> All right. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer. Thus, she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. No. <laughs> that is my condition. What? I'd better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? I guess except. All right, I've got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. Huh. Fool. You fell right into my trap. Uh-oh. Um, uh, wait. <laughs> Hold on. So on sex. Hmm? Bellboy testimony next time. Oh. I think. The court calls in the hotel bell by to bell by to stand. Alright, right, the options right here. right here. Save game. Right there. Think we got through a good chunk? Alright. Save our voices. Yeah, because I'm I am dying a little bit. You're dying a little bit. Very fun. A Having a fun. really good time. Having a riot. Just thinking about it. Oh. I wanna <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right all right we'll see you all later thank you so much for coming in yeah and we'll see you on wednesday, wednesday for more pokemon! pokemon pokemon i also want to highlight global strike is happening right yes. now for palestine we have resources pinned in our chat right now and we'll have probably something down there on the youtube vod um but just be aware stay aware love you be good be good. Have a nice night. Good night. Bye. Be safe.